So legendary trader Peter Brandt just had some things to say about XRP. I wanted to respond to those and also give you guys my raw, unfiltered, real thoughts on XRP. And that's why you guys subscribe to this channel because, listen, being in crypto every single day, your mind should change on various aspects of crypto. But with XRP, I really haven't wavered. And I want to talk about why after we kind of highlight what Peter Brandt said about XRP versus Bitcoin. And it was kind of cryptic. We don't really know how to necessarily interpret it fully, but I did want to kind of give you what he said and what I think he means, and then finish off the video with my thoughts on XRP, how I look at it as an investment, and where it kind of fits in with my investment strategy. So all of that's gonna come at you in this video. Go ahead and smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, definitely helps us out, and subscribe down below for more content like this. I appreciate you guys so much, by the way, for stopping back by the channel, getting ready to go to Dubai today. Maybe we'll get some XRP news out there. No matter what, we're going to have a ton of things coming for you. So make sure you are subscribed because you're not going to want to miss real live raw updates from the conference. Can't wait to get out there. But Peter Brandt said, headed to Antarctica, cash tag, you know, XRP BTC. So very cryptic, right? What could this mean? this heading to Antarctica statement? Well, it could be interpreted in several ways. See, on one hand, it might imply a cold, bearish outlook for XRP against Bitcoin, suggesting that prices could plummet to new lows. Everything dropped off the mountaintop yesterday when we got the big dip, including XRP and Bitcoin. On the other hand, it could symbolize a journey into uncharted territory, exploring depths previously unseen by the crypto market. The second scenario seems likely given Brandt's response to an ex-user who asked, uh, or to rephrase, to a level where XRP begins to outperform Bitcoin historically. Brandt responded in the aforementioned saying, or to put it in another way, to a level where not a single buyer has a profit. So what does that mean, right? Who knows? Right at the timing of Brandt's comments, though, we saw the market experience extreme volatility yesterday with significant losses across the board. Uh, cryptocurrencies tumbled on Friday as risk-off sentiment in traditional markets spread over digital assets, and uh, we saw it in the stock market as well. XRP sharply, sharply dipped, reaching lows of 50 cents from highs of 61 cents. Now, XRP has a big support at 50 cents, so we'll be watching this very, very closely. Uh, right now, XRP bounced off there really nicely. Uh, we got down to 50 cents, and I've said before, if XRP gets down there, usually it bounces really hard, and uh, so far it has. It actually didn't quite get as low as I thought it would in that 24-hour period. Might have wicked down uh, just down there near uh, near like 52, uh, 51 before it bounced. But here's the thing with XRP. I'm going to give you guys my philosophy, give you guys my thoughts on all of this. So Peter Brandt's comments, I don't really know exactly what he means, Um very cryptic, right? I think it could mean that, you know, Bitcoin is outpacing XRP. That's my take. And, but here's the thing, Bitcoin's outpacing everything. We haven't seen an altcoin season yet. And here's the thing with XRP. We're not going to see the price go parabolic until we have clarity. We know what XRP brings to the table. We know the tech behind it in the company Ripple. We know the value there. Where there's value, it's usually a good investment. And that opinion for me, has not wavered. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty given that this lawsuit has dragged on from 2020 till now. It's missed the bull run, really. I mean, it went up a little bit in 2020. But my opinion has stayed the same with XRP. I want to own a little bit right now. And when we get more clarity on XRP and where we're going here with this ongoing second half of the lawsuit, that's when I'll look to make a play. And some people would say, Zach, you're going to miss it. It's going to explode. It's going to go up overnight. I just personally don't see that. Yes, we went from 40 cents to 90 cents. But if we're really looking at this as a long-term viable option, what's 50 cents in the grand scheme of things? So my philosophy has been, there's a ton of things that I want to invest in. So I'll invest in a little bit of XRP right now. But I'm by no means an XRP maxi. So if you're watching this video and you don't agree with me, most likely you're an XRP maxi. And my take on that is never be a maxi of anything because if you are, you're seriously missing out on tons of opportunities out there in crypto. It's just 
not good. I'm telling you guys, I've seen it happen before. So many people get locked into one thing and they put all of their investment, all of their chips in the middle of the table. And if that one thing doesn't go well or something like this happens with the lawsuit, those XRP maxis who got in in 2017, nothing against them or you if you're one of them and you haven't invested in anything else and you've literally just put everything you own into that thing, here we are in 2024 and we're still stuck, right? At the end of the day, I wanna own a little bit right now, not a lot. That could change when we get more information. That can change when we get more clarity as to what it's going to do uh, next, given the institutional side of this lawsuit. It's unbelievable that the retail sales of XRP have been labeled not a security. It's both unbelievable for XRP, but also for the entire industry. And I think it's setting precedence now in the Coinbase case and other ones, which that's huge. That is massive. Even if you don't own XRP, you should be thanking Brad Garlinghouse and Ripple for going to bat for the entire industry. That is huge. And I will not understate that. But at the end of the day, everybody has to have a strategy when it comes to investing. And for me, I'm trying to mitigate risk, but also see upside. So I certainly see upside with XRP, but I think there's more risk there right now than with some other assets. And that's why it's not a top 10 holding of mine yet. It's not to say it couldn't be in the future. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts about this down below. Do you agree? Disagree? Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links. If you're waiting for XRP to explode and go to crazy new levels, the other reason why I'm not FOMOing in is I've got my trading indicator. It's going to alert me very, very early and let me know that something's brewing with XRP and I'll have time to jump in. If you want that tool too, links down below in the description.